some of you can check out Instagram and see if that's going to work. Um, and, uh, see if, <laughs> see how that, how well that goes. Okay. So tonight we want to talk about, I want to bring to your attention. We have been talking about Christian principles. And so, uh, those of you who have been, um, with us as we've talked about these Christian principles, um, I want to say that we started with love and some of you were on as we talked about love as a Christian principle. Um, and let me just say, you want to make sure that you uh, invite others to join us as we are on live on Facebook, as we're on live on Periscope, as we're on live on Instagram. Uh, make sure you invite others to come and join us for tonight's topic of gratitude. But we talked about love in the beginning and we talked about um, how important it is to show love as a Christian how important it is to, um, you know, offer love to people in the community as well as to your family and also to love yourself. So we did talk about that. And uh, this is just Christian one-on-one, y'all, okay? Then we talked about forgiveness and how important it is to forgive others because we know that God forgave us first. And so we have to work on forgiving others, all right? And so don't forget, once again, to invite others to come on Facebook. Y'all know how y'all can invite others. Don't forget to invite others to come on Instagram and to invite others. Swipe to the right, I believe, on Periscope. And so then we talked about last week, we talked about wholeness, okay? And so wholeness, um, when you talk about that, um, we want to be whole as a people, I'm trying to see how I can invite folks and talk at the same time and it's not working for me. So y'all just invite the people. We want to be whole as a person, as a Christian. We want to uh, have wholeness um, so that uh, whatever, um, you know, we bring, we will bring a whole person to the job that we're working on. We'll bring a whole person to the uh, relationship that we're in. We'll bring a whole person to... Um, to the church where we're serving or where we're working. So we want to uh, work on being a whole person. And so tonight I wanted to talk about gratitude, okay? And those of you who, who have been with ELC for a while, you know that we do talk about gratitude when we talk about the book, The Secret. And I've told you we're gonna talk about The Secret in July. So those of you who have not got the book, uh, make sure you order your book or make sure that you uh, have it online. Uh, make sure that you're able to follow because we actually do go through the book like we went through the abundance book we actually do go through the secret book so please do order your book uh, so that you can um, you know go through that study with us it's a very powerful study really does take us the entire month so today we want to talk about gratitude gratitude is um, I've really worked a lot in that area first L has uh, worked a lot. She was already in that area. And so some of y'all know who know her, uh, know that she, uh, is a total person of gratitude. So she was already doing very well in that area. And some more of us who over the last two years that we've done the secret, we have worked in the area of gratitude. I tell you, uh, where are the deacons? I need the deacons to let me know if they have their gratitude rock tonight. Anyway. Um, so we have to work in the area of gratitude. Uh, gratitude, what is that? How do we define that? Okay. So we can define that as the moral emotion that promotes operation and I mean, cooperation and makes our society civil and kind. It is the feeling of reverence for things that are given. Um, another way of saying what gratitude is, thanks everybody for getting on, uh, is expressing thanks. Um, it, it's a mindset of expressing thanks. Oh, okay. I see Deacon Cat has hers. Um, you express thanks and you are appreciative. Let me say it that way. And you have a sincere heartfelt, uh, appreciation or thanks for what you've been given or what is happening or things that are on the way. Okay. And so now expressing thanks should not be something you only do on Sundays when you're asked to give God praise or you're asked to give thanks for what is happening in your life or you're asked by somebody else to give thanks. You should not have to be asked or directed or guided in order to do that. That should be something that you do naturally. All right. And so gratitude should be your attitude. And so that's why I'm trying to get people to, to where gratitude is your attitude. Okay. 
And so we want you to be a grateful people. We want you to be people who are people who walk and breathe gratitude, okay? And so now that means that it's got to be a change in your mindset. Something has got to change uh, that will make you be a person of gratitude at all times, okay? And so now, a gratitude mindset, believe it or not, means lower levels of anxiety, lower levels of envy, lower levels of depression. Anybody got that? And so now who would not want to uh, be a person of gratitude if that's going to help you not be depressed on some days, if that's going to help you not experience anxiety, why would you not want to have gratitude, okay? And so it's important to uh, be a person of gratitude. And so now uh, I want to talk about some of the byproducts, but let me um, let me just say, uh, persons who express gratitude have the power to heal, all right? They have the power uh, to heal, I would say, themselves, and sometimes the power to heal others. Um, also to be energized and to change lives. And there was a study done by the University of California um, in Davis, California, uh, that does prove that people who do uh, offer gratitude or live in gratitude or, or walk in gratitude, should we say, um, are people who have the power to heal, who can change lives and who are energized. Okay. And so we want to make sure that we are uh, people of gratitude. Now, one of the things that's important when you talk about gratitude is, uh, making sure that you remind yourself, I got to be grateful today. <laughs> sometimes we have to have reminders. It sounds silly. It sounds funny, but sometimes you may need a reminder to say to yourself, I've got to express gratitude today. And so now I'm going to tell y'all what the bishop does so that you can use a couple of my secrets and a couple of things that I do. Uh, one of the things that I do, which is very important is to, uh, put on my calendar every day, uh, at least five, six times a day, express gratitude, express gratitude. So that means that if I've already done it, that's fine. I can ignore the reminder. Some of y'all know, uh, iPhone and Android, uh, calendars are wonderful tools to have. So if you're not using yours, please do make use of yours. However, they're wonderful tools to have. And so it can help remind you uh, and get you in the habit of expressing gratitude on a regular basis. Okay. Because sometimes, yes, we get busy. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we're overwhelmed with other things that are going on and we're consumed with life and life does happen. And so sometimes we just have to have a reminder, something that pops up and says, Hey, it's time to give gratitude to God. And so, uh, you know, that is what I use so that if I do get busy, if I'm in the middle of something, it reminds me, hey, you've got to make sure that you are giving gratitude. Uh, one of the things that I share with the deacons and I'll share with you um, is that it's important sometimes also to have a reminder. Now, yes, the calendar is great, but if you uh, are away from your phone and you don't have that, then what else can you have? Uh, those of you who have watched the movie, the secret on Netflix, or if you have the actual video, you can get the video, uh, and have it yourself. Like I actually had the video first L and I, uh, watch it often. Uh, that's one of the things that you can never watch too many times. However, um, it talks about a gratitude rock and the deacons, uh, we felt led to give the deacons one for Christmas. And I tell them, you need to have it at all times. Keep this rock with you. And so. What happens is uh, this rock may be with you. And so this, this uh, gratitude rock. Now, let me just say, you can get any type of item. Does not have to be a rock per se, but something that you can put in your pocket, um, something that you can put in your purse or put on your nightstand or wherever you may keep something that's important. Uh, but this is what I chose to use. Um, this is what I chose to use. Let me see if I can get it on this one. Okay. This is what I chose to use here. And, uh, to me, this is my gratitude rock. Okay. So I always have this on me somewhere. And so, um, what it does is it's a reminder that I need to give gratitude. So if I don't have my phone on me, then I do have this somewhere on me that reminds me I need to be giving gratitude at this moment. And so, it's important to every day, not just once a day. You may need to start at once a day. 
uh, giving gratitude, but it is important to make sure that you are giving thanks and you are giving appreciation uh, for the little things, just for everything. I like to say, just give thanks to God for everything because everything uh, is worthy of giving God praise for. And so when you do that, you will find that your whole uh, spirit will shift. You will find that your attitude will be different. And folks might even tell you, you are a more pleasant person since you've been doing this gratitude, whatever you've been doing. They might even know what you've been doing, but they'll say you are more pleasant. You are easier to be around. You're easier to deal with. And whatever you're doing, keep it up. Okay. When people tell you that, you know, whatever you're doing is working. Okay. However, let me just say, it is important for you to stay on track. Now, don't beat yourself up if you get off track, but I believe it's important for you to begin to make this shift in 2017, all right? This is worthy of us discussing on tonight, and it's worthy of you beginning to implement in your life. Because if you're always in a positive place, you don't have time to be uh, dealing with negative things. If you're always in a positive place, then more than likely you're not going to allow those cares of the world to take you down so heavily that you're in a place of depression. If you're in a positive place, more than likely you will not be in a place, if your positive place leading you to an optimistic place, uh, you're not going to have uh, those feelings of anxiety about different things that may be happening or what could happen. All right. And so I just want to encourage everybody tonight to just try it and see, see how things might begin to change in your life. It's always uh, worth a try, all right? And so there are some byproducts that I want to talk about that happen as a result of our gratitude. Now, some of you have heard of uh, Deepak Chopra, and uh, he works a lot with Oprah, and they've done some meditation things together. And I would say go on the website and look at some of those things and even try the meditation. We've talked about meditation here. We know that meditation is key. It's very important. Sometimes we just got to clear our mind and get all of that busyness out, all of that talk and gibber out and just go into a space of peace and harmony. Uh, and so there are some physical benefits that you can get from being a person of gratitude. One of the physical benefits that come to you is that you'll have a strong immune system. Imagine, imagine if you didn't have all of this worry, all of this uh, uh, stuff that might cause tension in your body, might cause stress in your body, and you're in a positive place. You're always thanking God for just everything. Thank God just because I woke up today. Thank God just because I can breathe today. Thank God just because my eyes are working, I can see it. I, oh, even if I need glasses, I can still see. Thank God that my ears are working, I can hear. Thank God that my heart is working and it's pumping. And thank God that my legs are working, I'm able to stand. And thank God that my legs are moving, I'm able to walk and my muscles are working. They're able to help me to stand and walk. Thank God that my feet are working. They might hurt some days, but thank God that they're working. Thank God that, you know, my hands are moving. I can do some work. I can go to a job, you know, and I can earn a living for myself or for my family. I'm thankful that I'm able to even get in a car and drive to a job, drive to pick up the children, drive to pick up the grandchildren, drive to go to even start a new job. I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that maybe I don't have a car, but I can get on. I can get on a subway. I can get on a train and I can go to where I need to go. I'm so thankful. I'm just grateful for the fact that I even have food to eat. I'm thankful for the fact that there's food in my refrigerator. I might not be cooking it, but it's still there. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that my tongue is still working, that I can taste the food and I can enjoy the food that I have prepared or that somebody else prepared for me. So y'all just got to go into a space of gratitude. You just got to go into a space where you're just thankful for almost everything. Even even you're thankful for the fact that you can walk up the steps to your house if you have steps. Thankful for the fact that you can cut the grass outside of your yard. Thankful that maybe somebody else is cutting the grass for you. So we just got to be thankful, thankful, thankful on today. All right. And so now imagine if you are just always in this space of gratitude, always in the space of thanksgiving. That's not saying that there's nothing going on in your life. It's just saying that I choose not to focus on those things and I'm choosing to focus 
on the positive things. I'm choosing to focus on the good things. I'm choosing to focus on the, the blessings that have come my way. All right. And so that's where we are with gratitude. So now imagine that you are in that space. How does your body have time to have things festering in it? Okay, we talked about sometimes that cancer comes from stress. We talked about how some of the diseases in the body, I actually have the book, um, some of the diseases in the body do come from different things that we process emotionally. And, and a lot of that stuff is a manifestation of what we've been holding in. Believe it or not, back problems oftentimes are a manifestation of things that have been unresolved in your life and you've been holding it in. And so uh, there are a lot of things that manifest in our body and through our immune system that uh, come from us holding things in and not ever processing through some stuff, all right? And so we've got to know that if we're in a place of uh, thanksgiving, we're in a place of gratitude, we're in a place, let me even say praise, all the time, then your body is not going to be holding on to those things and you're going to be in a, a healthier space and place. Uh, and so in essence, uh, on the Deepak, Deepak Chakra site, it does talk about how you're less bothered by aches and pains. I'm telling you, it's all, it's all a reprogramming. Uh, you've got to change your mind and actually change you. All right. And so we actually begin to see that happen. And some folks who have blood pressure problems, you'll notice that your blood pressure will be lowered the more you move in gratitude, the more you move in thanks, the more you move in praise, the more you shift in the way you begin to look at things. And I always used to preach, and I still preach this today, that everything is about perspective. And so sometimes you got to change your perspective. You've got to shift your perspective. You've got to begin to look at some things differently. Yes, your car might have broken down, but should you give praise for you still having the car because it's not total? Or should you give praise for you having the money to uh, get the car repaired? Should you be praised that your life was not lost with whatever happened with your car? And so there is always another way to look at any situation. All right. And so we want to begin to make sure that we are looking at situations uh, the best way possible. We want to make sure that we begin to look at situations the best way possible. I guess that's why some of my numbers are down because um, my volume was low. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we're looking at things the best way possible. And then when you're in a place of praise, you're in a place of giving thanks and a place of gratitude, uh, you notice that you can sleep longer and your rest will be better. I'm telling you, when you are in a positive place and you're giving thanks and you're giving praise, um, you will begin to notice how uh, just everything about your uh, life and your situation will change, okay? Now, when you talk about... Um, psychological benefits there are also psychological benefits uh to giving praise besides and giving gratitude besides being happy and excited and pleasant all the time i would say that that's definitely one i'm gonna give y'all some that i looked up and and actually did some research on because y'all know i can talk about being excited and happy and thankful and dancing and and going into a shabak uh but we're gonna we're gonna give y'all some uh foundational stuff okay um, you have higher levels of positive emotions. And so, like I said, now you're not in that place of depression. You're not in that place of anxiety and you're not in that low vibration, uh, range. Okay. When you are a, play a person who's always giving gratitude and you're always giving thanks and you find the good in the situations to give God thanks for, or, or to give, um, just give thanks for, then you put yourself in a place of, um, positive emotions and you'll be in resonate in a higher vibration. All right. And so it's very important to notice that, uh, you'll see that, um, your emotions won't, won't be the same. And then, uh, you'll be more alert. You'll be more alive and you'll be more awake. Okay. And I think that's, that's what I'm talking about. When I say you'll be excited, you'll be jubilant, you'll have joy. And, uh, people will say you're once again, a lot better to deal with, um, you know, a lot easier to work with. Um, and, um, you know, they'll just be excited and tell you, keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. And so that's why we want to remember that, um, you know, uh, 
who we are and how we act doesn't just impact us. It impacts those who are around us. And it's always important how we talked about being in community. We did talk about that. It's important to, um, you know, work on yourself in order to be in community with others. All right. Now, you'll also have more joy and you'll have more pleasure in life. And you'll be, I think, excited and optimistic about all that life has for you. But that's if you are a person who is offering gratitude, okay? You've got to move into that space of gratitude, move into that space of giving thanks and finding thanks in every situation. Um, and you'll have more optimism, okay? So you'll be open and not as negative. Some people are very closed, very negative, and very pessimistic about everything. All right. And so some of that, uh, it has to shift. It has to move out. It cannot remain the same once you go into this space of gratitude. Uh, social benefits. Uh, it's You'll be more compassionate, more compassionate, uh, more generous and more helpful. You'll be more forgiving. You'll be more outgoing and you'll be less isolated. Okay. So giving gratitude, I'm telling you, there are some true benefits to that. Now, y'all know Bishop always has some suggestions to how you can begin to move in uh, whatever we talk about, okay? Now, once again, like I said, we did Christian 101 for, um, for June. We talked about, and I think at the end of May also, we talked about uh, love. We talked about being in community. Um, we talked about forgiveness. We talked about uh, wholeness. And tonight, we're talking about gratitude. These are all things that we have to know how to do and know how to offer and know how to walk in, okay? So we as Christians, as people who believe God and people who are submitted to God, uh, we have to know how to uh, be in community with one another. We have to know how to love one another and first love ourselves. We have to know how to forgive ourselves. We talked about that and how to forgive others and how to uh, become a whole individual as well as how to give gratitude. And so uh, how to live in gratitude. And so, like I said, you know, just find almost everything that you're grateful for and just give thanks for those things each and every day. And so I'm going to suggest to you tonight that you keep a gratitude journal, keep a gratitude journal. Notice now at the beginning of the call, we always give people time to give a praise report. And so now it, uh, you can kind of consider this as a, as your own praise report between you and God, those things that you are thankful for, those things that you are grateful for, those things that, you know, you just have to have to acknowledge and give praise for. Okay. And so we want to make sure that we are, um, working on that every day. That's not something that we cannot do every day. And so a way to help you to do that is a gratitude journal, a gratitude journal. Somebody say it with me, gratitude journal. And so at the end of every day or in the middle of the day or whenever you choose to do it, uh, make a list of things you are grateful for. I would say uh, in the beginning, you can start with maybe two or three things that you're grateful for. And as time goes on, you should be able to increase your list to not just two or three things. You'll increase your list to 10, 20, 30, 40. The list will continue to get larger as time goes on. And you will move from a place um, of not walking in gratitude to having an attitude of gratitude where you'll always, always be grateful and um, walking in thankfulness for everything that is happening and going on in your life. All right, so now uh, I always like to suggest if I can, um, uh, I guess a, a, a new era way of doing things. While some people may suggest a journal, we know everything is at our fingertips. And so um, there are apps that can assist you with uh, keeping your gratitude notes, okay? So now you don't have to write with pen and paper, thank God. Um, you can actually use an app on today to keep up with your, uh, gratitude. Um, let me say, um, daily, uh, works of gratitude. Okay. Writings of gratitude. So one that I found for you is called happy feed. That's H A P P Y F E E D. Now that is one word, 
uh, in parentheses, it says private gratitude journal and diary. Now, y'all know Bishop always likes to give y'all something for free, okay? We, we like free. We like free apps, and we like when we can have it on all um, devices, the iOS as well as the Androids. So I believe that it's for everybody. It uh, has some good reviews. So once again, try Happy Feed uh, if you're serious about giving gratitude and changing your life. Happy Feed uh, is one. Another one is Gratitude Journal 365. Gratitude Journal 365. It is a diary for your happiness. That's what it says. And that one is also free. So you can try that one. Um, I'm not sure about all of the reviews on that, you know, but you can try that one if you choose to. I always like to give everybody options. Um, the last one is My Gratitude Journal. And it is by uh, the company Happy Tapper. Happy uh, Tapper, T-A-P-P-E-R. And that one you do have to pay for. It's two ninety nine. dollars Now, just because you have to pay doesn't mean that it's better than the free one, okay? Sometimes we get that confused with apps. We feel like if, it, if you have to pay, it might be better. Um, some of the reviews on that was not too, uh, were not too nice, okay? So, whichever one of those you choose to select, uh, please do begin to journal uh, each day and um, help yourself shift into a place of gratitude. Once again, I would suggest you getting a um, some type of um, tangible item that you can touch and that will remind you. In the movie, for those of you who saw the movie, uh, in the movie, the gentleman at the end of the day, when he take everything out of his pockets, he would uh, see the rock and be like, oh yes, I have to uh, give gratitude on today. And he had an entire community to um, give gratitude and to purchase these rocks when his son was very ill and the son was actually healed. And so I'm going to ask everybody in the ELC community and everybody in the Word Wednesday community who, um, you know, studies with us and prays with us and who has encouraged us along the way to get you a gratitude rock, something that um, you can utilize that will help you remember each day, even if you're at the end of the day, your phone is put away and, uh, you know, you take things out of your pockets, take things out of your purse, um, you know, that will help you as a reminder to, you know, give that last, last gratitude for the day. And I'm going to ask that everybody begin to uh, just give thanks for uh, what God is doing at ELC. Now, let me say for me, I like to not just give gratitude for what's already here, but I like to give God thanks for the things that have not yet arrived, but that I'm believing for. Anybody feel me on that? Okay, Deacon Cat says she uses Bliss on her phone uh, for her uh, gratitude journal. Um, I haven't read the reviews on that, so I can't talk about that, but that is what she says she uses. Uh, but anyway, um, I like to give God thanks for things in advance. If you're expecting something, uh, sometimes you got to just go ahead and give God thanks in advance before you even get it. And so once again, that is walking in the spirit of gratitude, having the attitude of gratitude. You are actually saying, I believe God for this. And so therefore I'm going to go ahead and give thanks in advance for it. And so we've got to begin to really, really move in the area of gratitude. Gratitude saying, uh, I thank you in advance for the building for my new business. Thank you, God, in advance for the finances to undergird the cost of my new business. Thank you, God, in advance for the building for ELC. Thank you, God, in advance for the money uh, and the resources for the building for ELC. Thank you, God, in advance for everything that we need. Thank you, God, in advance for the money for my next degree, my next level of education. Thank you, God, for money for my children's education. Thank you, God, for money for my next level of education that I need to be able to assist somebody else with, my grandchildren, my nieces, my nephew with. God, we thank you in advance for everything. And then, you know, thank you, God, for letting me even be here still because I know a lot of people who are in my age group who are no longer here. Thank you, God, for letting me still be able to work and still have the use of my hands because there's so many people in my family who have this and who have that. Thank you, God, for allowing me. And so you know, you you got to really, really go into that place. And I don't want to go in that place because we won't be getting off the line if I really go into that space tonight. 
However, um, you know, when we look at gratitude, I want to just say this, uh, and this is not on my notes. And so uh, I'm just feeling this in the spirit. It reminds me of what I taught when I taught on worship. Um, because when I was doing my doctor's degree on worship, I always told the people that I believe that if you would begin to really worship God and, and, and really go to another level in your worship, then you would see some things begin to change in your life and you would actually change. And so when we talk about that, then, um, when we talk about that, we have to understand that. Uh, first, before you can even go into that true space of worship, you have to be in the true space of praise. And what is praise? Praise is thanking God for what God has done. What is gratitude? I believe that is thanking God also. So when we look at that, then when you go into a space of gratitude, I believe that that will plateau you or plateau you uh, to a level in which you would be able to worship God on an entirely new level. Now, that's just me. I'm going to relate everything back to that. Um, that's because they say that I'm an expert in worship. I don't know. Uh, I would agree probably. Um, but you know, when you look at that, you have to understand that if you can begin to thank all, God all the time and just find a reason to give God thanks for everything, you will begin to see some things begin to be released. Some things that you were holding on to, some things that uh, have been plaguing you and bothering you. Some of us have got some stuff that's really been bothering us for years that we have not dealt with. And so if you would begin to really begin to thank God and just begin to uh, go into a space where it's just you and God and you uh, can shift in your thinking and shift in your attitude, I believe that you could plateau to that next level where you would go into a space of worship. And worship is where we're thanking God simply for who God is. And so if you can move yourself out of the way and really just begin to look at God and just thank God for his presence and thank God for um, his, 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 who, who God is. Let me, let me not say, let me not assume that everybody's okay with God. He, and just begin to thank God for who God is. Then I tell you, I believe that you really will, will experience some differences in your life. And so I just want to say that I believe that it's all connected. It's all connected. And so if you can begin to give gratitude and begin to move into that level of praise and then begin to move in that level of worship, I tell you, your entire life will change. You would never be the same. And you will see the entire world differently. And you will begin to experience all of the byproducts that comes from that. Um, you know, in one of my books I wrote, Worship Beyond Sunday Morning, I talk about how when you can go into that space, the holiest of holies with God through your worship, uh, that, that there are some things that will change in your life. And uh, it's when you go in that space, you know, unfortunately, there's nothing that you'll be able to say because of God's tremendous presence that you will experience. And uh, there's absolutely nothing that you'll be able to say. You'll just be weeping before the Lord, but you cannot come out of God's presence the same way. I don't believe that you could ever truly enter into God's presence and come out the same way because God is too great. God is too grand. God is too powerful and too mighty to not snatch everything out of you that's in you that's not right. When you come and stay before the Lord and you truly uh, humble yourself and put yourself in that space and place, there is absolutely no way that you can remain the same. And so uh, I, I'm probably really saying, I think I am saying that a lot of folks hadn't really, really entered into that space because if they still uh, acted mean, still acting ugly, still acting nasty, still have a bad attitude and still uh, very negative, they really have not entered into the Lord's presence. Um, but let me go back. Let me just say gratitude will really bring you into a positive space and place. So we really do want to be in that space of gratitude. We really do want to be in that space of, uh, thankfulness and gratefulness and experience all that God has for us. All right. So I want to see some people beginning to give God, uh, gratitude and thanks and praise every day. Now, gratitude journals. I want to make sure that you download yours today. Um, those two that I gave you are free and there's one that you can pay for. If you feel like you got to pay for it, for it to be better, then you can download that one. All right. But we want you to begin to, uh, write down the things that you're grateful for every day. And then notice when your list expands 
and then come back and give your praise report about how, you know, at first you were only doing about five things every day. Then all of a sudden it expanded to 10. All of a sudden it expanded to 20. All of a sudden it expanded to about 50 things. And so look, there is no limit on how many things you can thank God for. Somebody should have shouted right there. There is no limit to how many things you can thank God for. And so we want you to be thankful on today and we want you to walk in gratitude. Also, one other thing I've seen people suggest when you talk about gratitude is there's, if there's anybody who has blessed your life, uh, you can write them a letter to tell them how wonderful they have been, how much they have helped you. And that is giving gratitude. Also, find people to compliment every day. Now, I'm not talking about y'all give some sexist comments and those types of things. Just compliment people and give uh, thanks for how they are and what they have brought into the space and what they are giving, what they are offering, okay? That's another way to uh, walk in gratitude every day. You're thankful for the beautiful smile that they have. You're thankful for um, how uh, they brought such a positive energy into the room. You're thankful for the educational level that they bring to the group. You're thankful for the love that they bring into the relationship. You're thankful for the... Uh, the fun, the excitement piece that they bring to your marriage. Uh, you're thankful for the balance that they give you. Uh, and so there are some things that you can begin to say to others uh, in gratitude as well. All right. So gratitude doesn't always have to be just about you. Uh, it can be to others as well. All right. So we're at our time. We're at our limit. Uh, we're at 823. And so, you know, we want to respect your time and respect uh your time that you give us for Word Wednesday. Uh, it is my sincere hope, sincere prayer that somebody will join us uh, in beginning to walk in gratitude on another level. Um, so write us and let us know how it begins to work for you and let us know, uh, you know, how the apps are working for you. And if you find any other apps, you know, let us know. All right. Anybody have any questions on gratitude? Now, I can't, uh, I've got this uh, when I was traveling once. Can't necessarily remember what city I was in. Um, I know it was not on one of my international trips. It was on a domestic travel trip. Uh, but, um, you know, just find some rock. They have them at Christian bookstores. They have them at any store. Find you something that you can utilize um, for this. And yes, the deacon uh, did say Bliss was the um, app that she was using. Somebody was asking on Periscope. And so I believe that was the app. Once again, the apps that I suggested that was free that I did read the reviews for is Happy Feed. That is one word that is free. Uh, and Gratitude Journal 365. Uh, and My Gratitude Journal by Happy Tapper. All right. So I did look those up and read some of those reviews. Anybody have any questions tonight? Anybody have any questions tonight before we get off? Anybody have any questions? I should say questions or comments. Hi. Uh, I want to uh, make a comment. I want to thank you for um, your continual level of encouragement and, and showing us the revelation taking to go um, on our journey. Um, you know, I'm a person of great gratitude. I look at it as life to real people of expectation and, and having expectation we have to do things in a way in a manner as you said in a positive manner yes and when things happen um when i always think about that my did or i'll look at it as it could have been the other way and so as i'm walking down the hallway in the hospital at work yes and I, Thank you so much, Deacon. Thank you so much. Um, some of you, hopefully you were able to hear what he said. Uh, let me just summarize it in a, a, a short way. Uh, basically, when he's at the hospital and he's seeing people when he's walking down the hall, he uh, thanks God uh, for that, you know, not being him and saying it could have been him. Uh, and there's so many times that 
we uh, see certain things that happen with others and we have to uh, pray for them. But we want to also thank God that it's, it, you know, it just by the grace of God that he spared us or that God spared us. Okay. And so we want to always, always begin to look at things and, um, you know, from a different perspective. Okay. And thank you. Uh, we have someone, give me your name She's on Periscope that says this was a blessing for her on today. And, uh, hopefully this has blessed you. Um, you know, I think it's important that we begin to shift our thinking and, uh, look at things a little differently. And, uh, it's important to walk with gratitude and to have gratitude each and every day. Fabian, thank you so much, Fabian. Um, and, and so anybody else, anybody else with any comments? One last thing, I'm just, it's just coming to my spirit. One last thing. Oftentimes when you want uh, to see something different from somebody else, glory to God, the Holy Spirit just reminded me. Uh, when you want to see something different from somebody else, sometimes you got to begin to thank God for, for them showing that to you. So let's just say as an example, if you're working on your job and your uh, supervisor never, ever gives you any praise, okay, never says anything good about the work that you're doing, begin to say, God, I just thank you that the supervisor recognizes the good work that I'm doing. I thank you that the supervisor is a person who is willing to encourage others. I thank you that the supervisor, because you're wanting that to come forth from the supervisor. And so therefore that what you want to come forth, sometimes you just got to begin to thank God for it in advance. Once again, we talked about that thanking God in advance. So if you need to see that, if the supervisor is not giving it, uh, then sometimes you've got to help the supervisor out a little bit in the spirit realm. And so you've got to begin to say those things. And I tell you, you can use that also in relationships. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, you may not have peace in your household. And so sometimes you just got to go into the spirit room and say, God, I just thank you for peace in my household. I thank you for peace in my relationship. Thank you for peace in my kids. Thank you for peace in my um, community. Thank you for peace. And just begin to thank God for peace. And I'm going to give gratitude for peace on today. And so, you know, you got to go into that space and you got to help to shift that atmosphere so that that will come forth. All right now, but if you mad and if you always talking about, you know, I don't like the way that they acting, I don't like the way they're doing, you're feeding into what is happening. And so sometimes you got to step back and you got to go into the right space and you got to be the spiritual one and you got to begin to give thanks for things shifting and turning around in that uh, relationship, in that community, in that household. Okay. And so, you know, even with young people, I remember when my uh, children were a lot younger, um, I would go in sometimes and just, I said, now somebody seems like they need some anointing oil on them or something. So I would go and get the anointing oil and I would just put stuff on people at night and they wouldn't know, but in the morning, they'd be like, why, why is there some oil on my face, some oil on my head? That's because the Lord said, y'all need some anointing oil on y'all. And so that's exactly what I would do. And so, you know, sometimes you just got to help some folks out. You got to help them out and you got to shift that energy and shift that uh, atmosphere. And so, you know, it's nothing wrong with you giving thanks in advance for on your job, uh, you receiving the raise. Uh, now, let me say this. If you ain't working uh, like you should be and you ain't half there, you'll need to be praying about a raise or giving thanks for a raise because, once again, your work is not showing that you are due to receive something that you have not worked uh, and accomplished, okay? I'm saying if uh, you have worked and for some reason you were looked over and for some reason, you know, you were mistreated, you were not treated fairly or whatever, then you began to give thanks and praise and, you know, for that. Okay. So we're not going to play games. We're definitely not going to play games with God, but I just want to, you know, let you know that, you know, uh, sometimes you've got to shift the atmosphere and you've got to begin to change some things with your words and with your prayers and with your praise and with your gratitude. Okay. And so I just remembered that. So I know we're a little bit over time, but the spirit just gave me that. So anybody else before we get off? Anybody else? All right. So once again, on our prayer list tonight, uh, we do have uh, Jade 
We have Nicholas, we have Pamela, we have Velma, we have Kivan, we have Martha, we have Tracy, and we have Deacon Manuel. All right, and so we're going to pray for them, and I'm going to ask that you would pray for them with me, and we're going to believe God that God's power will prevail in all of their lives. All right, so let us pray, and then we will be signing off in a few moments. But let me say, uh, please do join us on Sundays at 1 p.m. in Silver Spring if you are in the DMV area. Uh, we do also um, go live at about 125, 130 on Sundays on Facebook Live, on Periscope, and on live stream. You can join us there. I've also stated anyone else who wants to be baptized, you can send a letter to our office in Power Cathedral at gmail.com, and uh, you will receive a response back regarding when we will have our next baptism. And so we do want you to, um, you know, be able to experience those uh, Christian things that maybe you were not able to experience or did not experience in your uh, authenticity. And so we do want to uh, let you know that we are offering those things to you. Also, anyone who wants to get married, uh, we do officiate and offer that service to you as well. And so we want you uh, to know that, you know, we are here and available to you. All right, so uh, at this time, would you pray with us as we prepare to uh, end our Word Wednesday session? God, we thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you, God, for everything that you have done thus far and everything that is on the way. God, we thank you for every opportunity that you create for us to give you thanks and praise. And help us, oh God, to shift our minds and and change our perspective and change the way that we look at things, oh God, so that we might begin to see uh, a reason to give thanks in all things. God, we know that we are instructed to give thanks in everything, to give thanks in all things. And so we ask that you would help us to do that. We ask, oh God, that you would help us to uh, be a people of gratitude. And God, I ask that you would help people to be able to journal their gratitude and thanks and praise each and every day. And I ask that their uh, list might begin to grow each and every day and you might shift them into an attitude of gratitude. Uh, and God, I ask that as we begin to praise you, we might begin to see more things uh, come from heaven and more blessings come our way. I ask that somebody might ex even experience excess and overflow and abundance in their lives because of their willingness to begin to give thanks and praise and gratitude. God, now I ask that you would touch Jade, oh God. I ask that you would touch her and touch her uh, in such a way that she might not deliver too soon, oh God. I ask that you might, God, allow the uh, delivery to occur at your divine appointed time. And so God, we just believe you for that on today. God, we just pray for Nicholas in Cincinnati. We just ask, oh God, that you would strengthen him and heal his heart and heal his friends' hearts. And God, I ask that you would receive the spirit of the young man whose life was taken. And I ask, oh God, that you would bring healing in that community. God, we just pray for Pamela right now in Birmingham. I ask, oh God, that you would just touch her body. I ask, oh God, that you would touch her liver specifically and all of her blood cells, oh God. And I ask that your power would prevail in her in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we pray for Velma, oh God, and we pray, oh God, that you would touch her body and touch all of her blood cells in the name of Jesus. And I ask that you would, God, do what needs to be done in her. God, I pray for Kevon, and I ask that you would just uh, touch him, touch his body, oh God, and I ask that your healing power will prevail in him. Touch his kidney specifically, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We just pray for Martha, oh God, and ask that you would touch her body, oh God. And I ask, oh God, that whatever it is that she needs, you would provide, oh God. And I ask that you would continue to help her to trust and believe in you. Pray for Tracy, oh God, and I pray specifically for her back, oh God, and spinal uh, area, God. I ask that you would just touch her like only you can. Just pray for Deacon Manuel, oh God, and I ask that you would bring healing to him. And I ask, oh God, that whatever he needs, that he might receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, we pray for all the people of God. And we ask, oh God, that whatever the needs are, that you would provide in the name of Jesus like only you can. Now, I just declare that we are a people of praise. We are a people of prayer with a priestly leader. And I declare that we are going to the next level in our gratitude. God, this is my prayer. I lift you in Jesus' most precious holy name. I do pray. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Let all the people of God say amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Once again, if you have not connected with us on Empowerment Liberation Cathedral, please do join us on that Facebook page. Please do join us on that um, Instagram page. And please do join us on that Twitter page. And also, uh, we ask that you would go to EmpowermentLiberationCathedral.org and continue to make a donation to help us bring this ministry to you each and every week. And once again, God bless you, God keep you, and may God continue to smile upon you. Thank you so much for being on. As I always say, she, please share this share this uh, broadcast so that others might receive what you got. So all you have to do is go to the share button and share it and help me get the word out about how we have to be a people of gratitude. Thank you so much. Blessings to all of you.